DeSmet High School, located in St. Louis, Missouri, is a Jesuit institution whose aim is developing men as leaders. Leaders in the classroom, leaders in the community, and leaders on the football field. These leaders are none other than the Spartans. Known for their excellent football program and a tradition marked by their 2005 championship title. Each season, the head coach Pat Mahoney creates a motto to address an area of focus for the team. I actually, I heard a song during the year last year, and in the song it talks about taking a leap of faith to get out of a selfish behavior pattern. Uh, that you start to care for your teammates and other people other than yourself. The way it goes is when you're young, it's always you first. You get in trouble, you, you, you be the first guy to go. And the way the song ends is a person that's in a war situation, one seat left on the helicopter says, no, you go first, and uh, he stays behind. I felt like this team would be a group that would benefit from that type of leap of faith where it really come together as a team, because I felt like we were going to need, need that as opposed to playing this group of individuals. No football program remains successful without rigorous off-season training. Off-season training is, is very important, like this this past summer, where well, this summer that just came up, you know, we we started June 1st, 6.30 a.m. sharp in the morning, running, training, sweating, and that's very important because it played a key role in our success last year because we started early in the fourth quarter when we played teams, teams was dead, we was just, we were just, you know, we was ready for anything, so it's very important for our team to, you know, stay conditioned and fit. With the 2009 season in the rear view, the Spartans gear up to establish their identity both as a team and as a group of young men striving to embody the U First principle. One, two, three, U First! They start to hit, turn the notch off. Pick the team practices. Hard, I know every team goes through doing camp time periods of I'm tired, it's hot out here. I think everybody's been working hard and trying to get better. I think we're practicing average. We have some good days, we have some bad days. The biggest thing we're going to have to do is be consistent. August 28th is an important game. It's, it's a team that, that doubts us. They're playing against Hazelwood Central, two time defending state champion.
But at the beginning of the game, I was just in the zone. When I got that pick, I just didn't believe I caught it. And I was just feeding off the crowd, feeding off everybody on the sideline. It was just important that I stepped up my game. The practice and everything to go out, they bounces to the outside, but on this time I came inside and took him in the house. First down and all the We gotta close the game out, man. We gotta put, put our foot on the gas and keep it rolling, man. We're trying to send a statement to the next team. We gotta win this half. We won the first half. Defense on three. Defense on three. Get in here. Get in here. One, two, three. Defense. We're getting the ball first. Be prepared. Don't fall asleep for a second. Most important word of the night from here on out is poise. Play smart, play hard, play with poise. I'm so proud of you. Best day of my life, I'd say. Coach put me in. He had confidence in me. I had to step up. I think I stepped up pretty good. I knew what I had to do. Um, I knew it. you first got to do what you got to do for your team um, and just staying focused and, and seeing the lanes and, and making the reads and making the play. That's what you got to do. I told him to drop. Big, you gotta learn how to do this. You gotta learn to drop and read the route right at the same time. All my boys, they, they can't talk any stuff anymore. We beat them tonight. They were full. No illnesses. We won the night. Point is simple. There's been so many memories on this field and and playing for the cement and to go out with a big win like this and the state quarterfinal, I mean, it feels amazing. It feels great, man. I'm really glad it didn't end with a loss on our home turf, so let's go and get them next week. So next week, you know, we got to stay focused. We got to prepare right. We can't can't play around. We got to, last year we was one step closer and we back where we want to be at, and we're going we gonna to win it this time.